All right, for some more insight on this, let's bring in Republican California Congressman and House Judiciary Committee member Tom McClintock. Uh, Congressman, thanks for being here today. It's a pleasure, Molly. Uh, thanks for having me. Kicking things off, we just had a chance to listen to Ellison's report. She really hammered out a lot about the efforts right now to get a hold of the president's tax returns, the Ways and Means Committee Chair uh, Richard Neal subpoenaing uh, the Department of Treasury, uh, Steve Mnuchin, the IRS seeking these documents. Uh, the president, of course, famously refusing to give up these documents earlier. Uh, one Republican calling this a dangerous precedent your thoughts well I think we're seeing the weaponization of the IRS it began under Lois Lerner when they turned the entire force of that powerful agency against common citizens who are simply trying to participate in our political process I know a lot of Tea Party uh, activists uh, who won't go near politics anymore for fear that it will bring the wrath of the IRS so this is simply transferring that weaponization to the highest levels of our government the law does give the uh, ways and means chairman uh, the uh, power to uh, uh, demand those documents mm -hmm. uh, if the president resists ultimately it's going to be resolved in the courts. I, I was just going to ask what are the chances that this is the way these documents come to light? I'm sorry? What, what are the chances that this is the way these documents come to light? Well, I mean, we've already seen a number of the uh, president's past tax returns leaked to the uh, press uh, against his, uh, his will. Um, uh, and if they can do that to him, they can do it to anybody they disagree with. Uh, all of our tax returns are subject to that kind of politicization if this, uh, if this precedent is allowed to, uh, to stand. Yeah, and it's been very busy on the Democratic side as far as these investigations are concerned. There's been quite a, quite a few movements. Uh, but Democrats would like to hear from Mueller. There was an initial date of May 15th that it seemed like they were toying with, and then that seems to have fallen away a bit. Uh, do you think that Mueller will ultimately testify, and, and would you like to see that? Do you have questions? Uh, for this oh yes, time. I mean I, I have a lot of questions for him. Uh, uh, among them, uh, why did he uh, pack his investigating team with the, the most uh, uh, partisan uh, uh, group of investigators we've ever seen in one investigation? Of uh, how how far into the investigation did he realize there was absolutely no truth to this lie that the president or his campaign were colluding with the Russians? And why didn't he real, reveal that then? I've got a lot of questions for Bob Mueller, so I do hope he comes to testify. And just looking at the other side of this, the GOP-controlled Senate Intelligence Committee has subpoenaed Donald Trump Jr. looking into questions about previous testimony before us, Senate investigators. And here's the president on that. My son is a good person. My son testified for hours and hours. My son was totally exonerated by Mueller, who, frankly, does not like Donald Trump, me, this Donald Trump. A lot of digging going on. What are your thoughts on what's happening there regarding this on the Senate side? Uh, I, I don't understand Richard Burr at all. Uh, uh, when you look at the $25 million spent by the Mueller investigation during their 22 months of inquiry, when you look at all of the investigations going on by partisan Democrats on the House side, uh, this is the most investigated uh, administration in the history of the country. But the uh, Senate Republicans have the opportunity to, to, to ask other questions that are uh, of great importance to this country. The politicization of our intelligence agencies. How did the Steele dossier, which we know was phony, uh, uh, be used by the Justice Department, by the FBI, and by the intelligence agencies to intervene in our American election uh, to, uh, to try to influence the vote, and when they fail to do that, to use it to undermine uh, the constitutionally elected President of the United States. You know, you're I would think that would be of great Committee. interest. Uh, what's next for the Judiciary Committee as this moves well, if forward? Well, if I could just, just finish my point, I, you know, th that should be a prime interest to the Intelligence Committee and the Senate. Those are questions that desperately need to be asked, and they're not being asked on the House side. All right. Uh, and then just looking ahead, in the next couple of weeks, the Judiciary Committee has been very, very busy. Can you give us a little insight into what to expect in the next week or two? Uh, I think more of a circus. I mean, this is becoming a, a complete uh, charade. Uh, and I think the American people are going to want to watch this very carefully and, and ask themselves, you know, with everything that is confronting our country, um, uh, is this the way they want their Congress behaving? And if the answer is no, they're going to have a chance to change that uh, in the next election. I was just thinking as you were mentioning that, that there's an election on the way. We'll see what the American people do. Representative Tom McClintock, thanks for uh, chatting with us today. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me.